Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, I wanted to go through a few um, logos that have some hidden meanings. I love looking at these kind of logos and looking at how they were made, um, how they were designed, and uh, what kind of subtle, um, uh, you know, hidden meanings that uh, the designers have incorporated into the into the logos. Most of you will know these. Uh, I just thought I'll create a video for those who don't, um, and uh, use some some well-known brands. So let's get started looking at the first one, which is a well-known brand, uh, one of the biggest e-commerce websites in the world. And that's why this arrow points from A to Z. It, what it means is that it sells anything from A to Z. So that's pretty cool. And also the shape of the um, arrow, it just you know shows that it's a smiley face. So they do it with a smile. Next one is the F1 formula. When I was doing my research for these uh, logos, I found that F1 has actually replaced uh, the one on the left, which is the older one, with the one on the right. I find that the one on the left, the older one, is a lot nicer for me. That's my personal opinion. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And I love how they've used the, um, the negative space or the white space here with the one within the F and these, uh, these wings or this wing shape thing so it says so it, the word is f1 right here that's pretty cool next one um the sony uh vo uh logo it's actually quite a nice logo i really love how it's been done the first part of the logo this this line here is actually the analog line represents analog and the other two here the one and the zero represents digital so it basically tells you it goes from analog to digital that's pretty cool that one the next one is obviously well known FedEx uh, you know delivery company uh, the the cool thing about this is how between the uh, E and the X is actually a arrow that points to the right meaning they're moving forward meaning, you know they're delivering next one is Toberon I love Toberon I'm the only kind of chocolate I would eat <laughs> Um, has a few in here actually. The first is the bear in the um, um, in the mountain here. Also, the word Tobler is the, one of the creators of the the Toblerone um, recipe, and also where it comes from, Bern in Switzerland. It's B E R N. So it's added three kind of um, elements in 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 the one little logo, and that's pretty cool. The next one is the Pittsburgh Zoo. Um, uh, I love the silhouette of this black and white uh, silhouette logo and it also has you know the, you know, the white space is used very well the negative space which has a gorilla on one side and a lioness on the other and also little fish in there as well that's pretty cool that the Sun logo uh, Sun Microsystems logo I should say the chips here actually spell out Sun if you look at it closely, it, it actually spells out there's the S U N. S U N. If you look at it really closely, the the chips they actually spell out sun. That's pretty cool. Next one, Cisco logo. Um started in San Francisco and these lines are to represent the Golden Gate Bridge. Simple as that. That's just minimum nice. Next one is Pinterest. Everyone knows Pinterest. I'm a big user of Pinterest myself. And the hidden um, meaning of this, the P here represents a pin. As you can see the pointy end here. So, yeah. The Kulna Zoo, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, I love how they've used the negative space or the white space in, in, in between the elephant. They've got a few other ele um, animals here, the rhino, uh, giraffe. Not sure what this star means, but yeah, it's it draws your eyes to it anyway. And the next one is the Levi's logo. Now this bat wing shape, this bat wing shape here at the bottom is supposed to represent the uh, pockets on the Levi jeans. Next one, Yoga Australia. Um, I believe they no longer use this logo. It's a totally different um, logo they use. And I love how these hands and the legs connect to create the Australian, um, the shape of Australia. If you look at it, the only thing that's missing is Tasmania down here. Next one, 
I love this logo. It's a pretty cool logo. Uh, the Spartan Golf Club. It um, it shows a silhouette of a golfer hitting the ball, which is going all the way here. And if you look on the side, you can actually see the Spartan helmet. Here's the face, the eye, and the helmet. That's pretty cool. Next, and the last one, the Bronx Zoo. Now, again, this logo, I believe they don't longer use it. Uh, this is an old logo. I love this logo. And it has, uh, they've used the negative space quite nicely with uh, buildings from um, and New York to represent, uh, you know, the, the city of New York. That's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's something I, I love looking at, these logos and how they're designed and finding the hidden meanings behind them learning about what those hidden meanings mean. Um, like I said, if you um, if you like that video, don't forget to comment below. Let us know what you think. Um, also, please, um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.